السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل کنسیپٹ آف میتھمیٹکس میکینکس میں چیپٹر 7 کائنامیٹکس کا ایک ٹاپک ہم نے اٹھایا ٹینجینشل اینڈ نارمل کمپوننٹس آف ویلاسٹی واٹ از ٹینجینشل کمپوننٹ اینڈ واٹ از نارمل کمپوننٹ اف وی ہیو اے کوارڈینیٹ پلین اینڈ دس کوارڈینیٹ پلین وی ہیو اے کار and we take up some terminal point P of x, y then uh, on this point we draw a tangent and we draw a normal which is perpendicular to tangent this is the concept to relate of tangent and normal then our target is to find the component of velocity along tangent and component of velocity along normal means that tangential component of velocity and normal component of velocity so we start our work with this diagram let we have our x y coordinate plane this x axis this is y axis we have a curve that we draw in the previous lecture of uh, cartesian component of velocity acceleration curve is and let we have a point p of x y clear now we draw a tangent on p of x y which cut the p of x y at point p which cut this curve let us this curve with f of x this is a tangent and direction is t cap and normal is perpendicular to the tangent which draw on the point of tangency which is p and this is our line of normal normal line and tangent line now we have to find the component of velocity how much along tangent plus how much along normal this behave like this uh, simple i cap and j cap i cap and j cap in 2d means that x y coordinate now we move on the tangential and normal component now we talk about the tangential and normal component so v vector is equal to how much along this is the magnitude yahan jo cheez aayegi wo magnitude mein aayegi this is the vector direction this is the magnitude once again a direction direction how much along tangent मैग्नीट्यूड में क्या आएगा और हाउ मच लॉन्ग नॉर्मल और इस जगह पे जो क्वेश्चन मार्क है जगह क्या आएगा ये हमारा असल में टारगेट है तो स्टार्ट हम यहां से लेते हैं एज वी नो दैट v इज इक्वल टू एज वी नो दैट v इज इक्वल टू द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट वेक्टर व्हिच वी विल रीड इन द प्रीवियस टॉपिक क्लियर now we can say that dr over ds ds by chain rule dt why we apply chain rule here we apply chain rule this respective equation shows that r is a function of s and s is a function of t what is s if we have a curve let's say if we have a curve ab we have a focal card pq and this curve distance is known as this curve distance is known as s clear this curve distance is known as s and straight distance is known as pq pq curve is known as over s and pq straight is distance is known as r If we talk about about the origin, अगर हम बात करते हैं कि ये किसी origin से किसी काल ये किसी particle की movement है, तो फिर ये O है अगर तो ये जो चीज है आपके पास P तक जो इसको line join कर रही है, ये R vector है और ये जो आपके पास P से Q तक का distance है उस particle का, this represent delta R vector और this represent delta S. Delta S is a simple a magnitude. But delta R vector shows the direction of a particle from P to Q. So we can say that delta R vector. So by head to tail rule or the resultant of this, we get the answer R plus delta R, which we will 
study in the concept of which we was study in the concept of velocity and acceleration now we move to the our topic that delta r this diagram shows that delta r depends on delta s and we will when we go to the definition of derivative by a binisho method then we will get delta r over delta s delta s approaches to zero limit we get the answer dr over dl this is the basic step which will be behind this so now we move to our topic what is ds by dt if from the result of calculus we can write as v ds by dt ki jagah v ko replace kar diya aur dr by ds fine this is equal our equation number 1 result of calculus shows that v is equal to dx over dt whole square dy over dt whole square this result gave us to ds over dt so this is the result from calculus now we have our final equation is final equation is v vector is equal to v speed v is speed and dr over ds now we find what is dr over ds as we know that s is a scalar quantity and r is a vector quantity so this is the whole dr over ds the vector quantity and we know that since we know that and any vector v vector is represent as v magnitude into v direction clear kisi bhi vector ko aap represent karne ke liye do cheezon ka use karte hain one is its magnitude and other is direction now we talk about what is dr by ds agar hum is definition ko dekhe dr by ds kya hoga so dr by ds with the help of this definition we can write as magnitude of magnitude of dr over ds multiply direction of dr over ds kyunki humne baat kar di hai ke derivative of r vector with respect to x is a vector quantity agar vector quantity hai to uske paas do cheeze hongi one is magnitude of dr by ds and other is direction of dr by ds we can say that this is the equation number 2 now we will talk about the what is what is the magnitude of dr by ds and what is the direction of dr by ds inshallah we will study the magnitude of dr by ds and direction of dr by ds in the next lecture